Um, so Mike McIntyre from the Winnipeg Free Press asks, uh, you scored a pair in Edmonton uh, in, when the Jets won their fourth straight game before the pause. Do you feel like both you and the team were playing your best hockey of the year then? Yeah, I really do. I think um, we, we were playing some really good hockey. I thought myself, you know, I was kind of getting the groove as, as well as the whole team. And I think, you know, we were playing some great hockey. We were making that push. We knew every single game was, was so big at that point. And, you know, that was kind of our mindset going in after we heard about it after the first period as well is, you know, we got to win this game and get in the playoff spot because um, who knows if they start the playoffs. And that was kind of the way we approached it and motivated ourselves for, that, for the last two periods there. So a few of the uh, reporters are asking, uh, how have you been filling your time uh, during this pause? Um, you know, just trying to stay active as much as you can, stay busy. Um, you know, it's starting to get a little warmer here in, in Michigan. So I've been out playing tennis a couple of times, go out fishing. and um, I got some, some rollerblades so kind of cruising around the neighborhood with, with those. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough for everybody. And I think everybody, you know, as it starts to warm up too, just wants to go outside. But Michigan's got a pretty tough, uh, tough quarantine. They've really cracked down. And um, I don't even think golf courses are open at this point either. So you can't do any golfing. Um, so besides the, the fun stuff or, uh, the outdoor sort of activities, uh, what about your workouts? How have you been staying in shape and are there any exercises you can do that come close to replicating a skating stride? Um, that's tough. Um, I don't have a lot of, you know, equipment with me. So I've been doing a lot of calisthenics and just, just different body weight motion exercises and, you know, that, that's, that's been good. It's something that's, you know, a lot more, less stress on the body. So that's kind of been nice to kind of recover and, um, you know, let the body heal a bit from the season. And, you know, we're at such a grind at that point. But, um, yeah, it's, it's been tough and uh, not being able to skate too. So it's uh, some different workouts, but they've been good. Do you think uh, the rollerblades helps uh, kind of replicate that skating stride a little bit? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, that's about as close as you can get because not a lot of rinks are open. So, yeah, I've been been cruising around them with the rollerblades for a bit. So, kind of looking back at this uh, season that's on pause now, Dave Manuk from the Illegal Curve asks, uh, you've been consistent as a goal scorer and also as a passer from your time with the Young Phantoms of the USHL until the present with the Jets. Where have you seen the greatest growth in your game in your fourth year as a pro? Um... Just overall, understanding the NHL and um, understanding that it's a long season, you know, 82 games, it's a grind, and it's, it's a lot about consistency and, you know, bringing it every single night. And I think that's what separates a lot of, a lot of good players from the great players is just the consistency to, you know, show that high level of compete and, their, you know, their skills every single night. And um, that's something where I've, I've learned and I think I've grown my game and, you know, I've shown glimpses my first couple of years of – you know, how, how great I can be. And I think, you know, more so now, I think it's just more consistently, you know, bring that every single night. Uh, Ken Weeb from The Athletic, uh, he wants to look, uh, look at your shot a little bit. Uh, so growing up, was there a player that you patterned your shot and quick release after? Um, I don't know if necessarily the shot, but um, I've said it before, I think growing up, just watching Datsuk, I mean, he, I mean, he does have that release. He, he has a really quick release, but just more so his creativity and how he got the puck off. I think that's something that I admire and try to emulate as much as I can. So Dave Manute from Illegal Curve, he wants to ask, uh, reflecting back on the seven-year deal you signed at the end of September, what has it meant to you to have the stability of that contract and to really only have to focus on hockey now? Yeah, it's – it's good. You can really, um, I mean, I really don't pay too much attention to that. Even um, when it was my contract here, I mean, you can't control that. You can control how you perform on the ice. And um, so that was really my mindset. And um, it's, it still is. Um, there's so many factors out there that, you know, you can't control. And I think it's nice to, um, you know, have that security and a team that believes in you for, for seven years to be able to give you that type of contract. 